Hi everyone, this is Mike and today I'll introduce you to all the possibilities and features of WebWave's agency account. You'll see how you can use WebWave to create websites for your customers and then how you can cooperate with them using it. You'll see how an agency account works and how it helps to speed up the whole process, how it makes it all simple and how it makes communication with client easier. So now let's get started and let's go to Webmaster's panel. Here's the list of all your websites that you've created with your agency account. So you don't have to type in your details all, all over again each time you're trying to access any of these websites. It can get very useful if, if you manage multiple websites. From here, you can also change their settings, rename them, etc. So let's create a website for our customer. There are three options to do so. First one by clicking here and then you can either start from a blank page, which will open the editor um, on blank canvas where you can start working from scratch. Or you can choose one of these pre-made templates, which are basically uh, pre-made websites that you, then you can adjust according to your will or your customer's needs. And it's also good to know that you can live preview any of them. So if you click here, uh, then you get a live preview for this website. There's also a third option, which is if you create a template that you'll use to create uh, websites quicker, then you can click here and then just duplicate your website. So that's what we're gonna do in this case. And then you can change its name by clicking here and then you can enter the name here. So we'll just type in website for John Smith. Let's save the settings. And now website's name is changed. So let's go to the editor uh, by clicking this button. So now you're on the main screen of our editor. As you can see here, uh, all of the editor's functions work as usual. So you can alter any of these template elements according to your customer's needs. So for now, let's just change the header to John Smith. And you can do the same thing with any other element, as I said before. Uh, but for now, I'll show you one very interesting thing. So if you go to the toolbox and click here, you open the compositions menu. Basically, these are pre-made elements groups that have been already prepared by WebWave to be used for your projects. So, for example, if you'd like to add pricing tables to your website, you just click here and it adds a selected composition to your website. As simple as that. Uh, you can also create your own composition. So if you go here, you've got the list of all the compositions you've created and then you can use them across um, the other websites as well. On the right you've got the settings panel where you can view the settings for the element, for web page or for the entire website. And here you get the layers panel. But I won't go over the details of these as I already did it in my other videos. So for now Let's just publish the website. And then click here to view its published version. Now we can check if everything works properly. Okay. Let's talk about the domain. So let's go back to the editor. And here you can see that our link or our address or domain isn't looking very good and we'll have to change it. So let's go to the webmasters panel so I can show you how we can change it. As this is a video regarding agency account, uh, I'll now shortly explain um, the functionalities and provide more details about the stuff that we've got right here. So here uh, there's a freelancers and agencies panel 
where you can see the information about the end date of your agency plan. You can also extend it here. You can also select or deselect white label option, which means your customers will or won't see a WebWaves logo while logging to your websites. So if, if it's not WebWaves, then you can upload your own and you can do it here. Oh, I already got it. That's going to be my logo. If you'd like to change it, you just press here and then select one of your images that you've got stored on your computer. Here you can change your agency colors. So you can send your colors for the login panel in CMS, which means that if your clients go to the set panel, then they'll see the color you've chosen. So now let's click here and I'm going to select this one. Okay. Here you can enter your white label agency domain name. So that's going to be your custom agency domain. But we'll go over that a little bit later. You can enable or disable comment mode. And you can also click here to apply to become one of WebWave's experts. So if you're skilled in anything related to website design, through here you could potentially uh, get some orders from WebWave's customers. So to start, click here, then select uh, your currency and your skill set. For now, I'll just go uh, with website development. Then here you can set a price for your work and services. And back in the form, you can add a logo, your agency name, country, city, company's website, URLs of projects you wish to display on your portfolio. So here I recommend to add at least three of your projects. So they will be a good representation of your skills. And here you enter your languages and short bio or the description of your company. And now after you enter all the details, uh, you just click here to apply to become an expert. But in my case, I'll just cancel it uh, because I'm one of the experts already. There's also one prerequisite to become an expert, uh, which is you'll need to create at least five websites using WebWave. Then upon the successful review of your application, your agency details can be displayed here at experts.webwave.me. Usually more exposure equals more clients, so it's good to give it a go. Okay, now let's get back to the white label agency domain name option. So this link doesn't look too good. And one of the most obvious ways in which you can share your progress with your customer would be just to send them a link. But this one doesn't look too good, so we have to change it somehow. One of these options would be to purchase a premium plan, but because you've got the agency account, you can use white label agency domain name to simply change the domain you get here. So to do so, we'll go here and we'll just enter, let's say, webwave.webinar.com. Then you click here and it's all set. So that's going to be our agency suffix. But what about this part? To change this part, you can either redirect the domain that you've purchased somewhere else, or you can buy it uh, through WebWave and then link it to this website. So to redirect the domain you've purchased somewhere else, you go to knowledge base and here you get these two addresses you can use through your provider. But yeah, remember you can always buy a domain through WebWave and it will make everything so much easier. Okay, so let's change the address now. Just click here. Now just click change and enter the desired domain. So for now I'll just go with John, John Smith. As I said before, uh, you can register a new domain here and purchase a premium plan. Uh, so yeah, register a new domain or connect a domain you already own. But for now, I'll just save it. 
Okay, it should be all done now. So let's close this window. And this is the link that we've created. Uh, I think it looks much better than the one we started with. So now you can send this link to your customer and then he can review all the changes you've made to the website. But let's treat this link as a temporary one because it will change after you purchase a premium plan or a custom domain for your client. As I already got one, um, I'll just type it in here. So just give me a second. Okay, let's refresh the website. And now the website is linked to my domain. Now we've got our domain sorted, let's talk about all the ways in which you can communicate with your customer using an agency account. So the first one, the most obvious one I already mentioned before, is just simply copying this link and sending it to your customer. If your customer clicks on it, then they can see a published version of this website. Later, you can communicate and work on feedback. And then from my experience, it usually ends up with barges of emails that are being sent between you and your customers. So to avoid that, I'll show you one uh, very interesting function. So WebWave has something that's called a comment mode. So here, here you can copy another link, which will allow your customer to place comments anywhere on the website. So if I'm a client and I'd like to get my uh, buttons color uh, changed, I'll just click here and here. First I enter my name, Mike, and then I'll say what needs to be changed. So please change button color to yellow. And here you can also see the history of the communication with your client regarding um, the selected item. So now the comment is added. Uh, I'll show you where it ends up. So let's go back to our webmasters panel and refresh it or relog. We should get a notification that new comments are available for our website, that we've received new comments from our client. So if we go there now, we can see that the comment has been made here. So just press that round thing and here you can see what the comment was. Then from here, you can go straight back to the website builder and then adjust the elements accordingly. Okay, so now let's save our changes and let's publish the website. You can go back to comment mode here. Then uh, press the round thingy again. And if you resolve the issue, just click here, press resolve. You can also delete um, the comment if you need to. For now, I think we are done here. So let's go back to our webmasters panel. Okay. So now one of the better options to cooperate with your client would be simply providing them uh, the access to a limited version of your website editor, which is called CMS or Content Management System. So let's add our client to the CMS. So first enter their uh, email address and then their password. You can also generate one for them. Okay. Now, from this drop-down menu, you can select one of the roles or privilege levels um, for your client. So, if you select user, they won't be able to change much on the website. But then you've got other options, so editor and editor-in-chief, which are able to change the text on uh, the website. So, the editor can only change the text contents, and editor-in-chief can also format these texts as well as replace the pictures and add new articles based on the templates. They can also access its statistics and alter the SEO settings. So the last option here is an administrator role, which allows our user 
to perform all the actions from all the roles that are below it as well as add a new elements, add a new sub pages, new templates, altering these templates, etc. However, it's still not a webmaster. So now I've explained all the roles, let's add our user. I'll change it to editor in chief and I'll just click here. Here you get the payment option, which you can check if you'd like to collect a payment for the premium, uh, for the premium plan from this user. So we'll just leave it checked and for now let's just close this window. So now if we'd like our client to access the CMS, we just copy the link for our website and then add a slash and admin. And that should open a CMS login pop-up uh, where you can enter the previously selected credentials. So password and then an email address. So if we'll do it right and we'll hit enter, it's going to load a CMS panel or CMS editor for this user. As you can see, there's no WebWave logo here. So that means white labels option has been enabled. And this user will have a limited access to our editor. So they can change the text however they like. Then the editor in chief can also change its formatting However, uh, they can't resize the text boxes, they can't move these elements, which can be very useful if your client or uh, CMS user doesn't have that much experience with website builders or any other editors. Because if they uh, destroy anything, uh, any elements or layers, etc., it will give you um, a little bit more work and this is unnecessary and it can be avoided with the permission levels. So to summarize, um, by using CMS you reduce your workload as well as your client's workload because you don't have to send the emails back and forth and your client can apply all the necessary changes himself. Sometimes there might be a situation where you don't want a certain element uh, to be edited. Uh, so to do this just go to the editor from your web webmasters panel now let's select the element we were talking about go to the settings panel we go to edit permission and click here so after you deselect this button then you won't be able to change it through CMS so now let's go back to our webmasters panel Okay, so now let's talk about the last option with which you can cooperate with your client and that will be granting them webmasters rights. It can be especially useful if you're working on the same website with uh, the other website designer or if uh, you don't really care that your client will know that you're working through a uh, through website builder through, through WebWave as that won't really be a uh, white label option. So to grant webmasters rights, go here, then webmasters. And in this window, you can add a new webmaster by sending them a, an invitation email. So I'll just type in john at smith.com. Um, and by pressing here, you can send an invitation. Um, you have to know that um, for this person to become a webmaster uh, they have to be already registered with webwave otherwise it won't work so let's send our invitation now uh, in case you get anything wrong you can remove access here and if that person accepts the invitation then our website will pop up on their websites list and then they'll have uh, the same rights as you. Okay, so now I think this concludes our video. Thank you for staying with me till the end, and I hope that you learned something new or useful about our agency plans. As you could see there, um, they greatly reduce the workload and improve the cooperation between you and your client. 
smaller workload means more free time to pick up new orders and that will ultimately lead to more money. Thanks again and I hope to see you in the next video. See you soon. Bye.